Level up your listening with Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds and Headphones with immersive sound and world class noise cancellation for a not so silent night. Visit Bose.com slash Spotify to shop sound that's more than a present. Tis the season to shine with HM. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam from tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. Hey, what it is, it is the Manfuse Podcast. Who's sitting next to me? The big dog. Ben H. That's right. I'm Kay Lee, voice artist, host, man of many outfits. Man of mystery. There's a bunch of funny shit to um, talk about. First off, um, you know, lots of great things going on. It's the holiday season. Christmas is almost upon us. St. Nick is about to drop his fat ass down your chimney. Bring your kids and hopefully you all the things you deserve and don't deserve. Yes. Um, And we do wish you a uh, happy holidays from the Man Fused podcast. Happy holidays. You know, the the universe works in weird, mysterious ways. It does. I had something very... yet simple. Sometimes simple, yes. I had something very embarrassing happen to me. Yeah. Where I think I botched a potential... I would say that this guy and his wife were a get because of the business and industry he was in. So we had a post-Friendsgiving potluck. Yeah. My house, we kept it relatively chill. My mom came over, but we ordered, actually, we catered our Thanksgiving dinner this year and didn't cook at all from Milton's. Right. So we ordered, which is this kind of high-end restaurant. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Have you ever had their Thanksgiving dinner? No. No. But the restaurant's fantastic. Dude, their Thanksgiving feast, yeah. which ended up costing like 175 bucks. That's not bad. You got a fucking giant turkey that had been slow smoked for like six hours oh on a green egg. Oh my gosh. At like 138 degrees. Yeah. And then when you got it, you stuck it in the oven for like three hours. Right. Like, I don't remember. And dude, it was one of the tastiest, juiciest fucking birds I've ever eaten. Smoked turkey's the best. It was so fucking good. I don't know that I've ever, I don't know that I've ever had a better turkey. Smoked turkey will make you question why you don't just smoke turkey breast, slice it, and keep it in the fridge. It was so good. So good. And I'm not a huge fan. Like, I could eat the dark meat turkey. I'm a little bit more prone to doing that because it's a little juicier. And if the turkey is not cooked right it could be the white meat could be a bit dry oh it's constantly dry because it actually takes more to cook the dark meat than it does the white meat i didn't know that because what you got uh, against dark meat the breast meat has no fat content Mm. it's lean yeah whereas the dark meat has a lot of fat content that's it's got a lot of flavor too that's where the flavor comes from juicier fat it's wetter that's the juice moist i love that moist dark meat that being said there's something to be said for a great breast mm. i mean a really good breast why not two yes yeah. a nice slice nice pear nice thin slice breast a breast what to put on a sandwich or just pick yeah. it up and eat yeah, it like sandwich a, yeah absolutely sandwich not like a thanksgiving turkey sandwich like like uh jersey mike's which by the way thank you jersey mike's they're a new sponsor Jersey Mike's is in the building. What do you mean? We're gonna we're gonna pitch Jersey Mike's. Oh, on man, fused. But uh, did we? But are they in the building? Are they no, no, sponsor? not yet. I'm oh. just saying it was just kind of a practice run. Oh, that's pretty yeah. good though. I like yeah. that. Shout I mean, out to Jersey Mike's. Man, we love you, Jersey yeah. Mike's. Um, Second best turkey in the world. Well, they do. Uh, Jersey Mike's does partner with you know BBA, which is Burt's Big Adventure, the charity that Burt Weiss from the Burt Show. If you don't know. One degree away uh, from everything, man. Yeah, I mean, but chances are we have a lot of crossover listeners that listen to the Burt Show that might listen here. So they might already know what the fuck I'm talking about. But Jersey Mike's is always a big supporter of Burt's Big Adventure in a way. So indirectly, they are. And I'm a big supporter of Jersey Mike's. My own home. Yeah, Yeah. we endorse them daily or weekly, (laughs) whatever. Yeah, 
we should get a refund or That's a right. return or a, a, a discount card That's or something. Right. Anyway, we knew that uh, we had leftovers, even though, you know, because my wife, if she would have cooked, it would have been for 10 people. We yeah. only had my family of five where my kids aren't going to really touch most of the shit that got right. my wife was going to cook. So right. it would have just been a waste. Yeah. So even though we ordered from Milton's and they gave us like five different sides, we still had a shitload of food left over. And then, of course, all of my neighbors and the other couples, we knew they had food left over. Yeah. So they're like, fuck it. On yeah. uh, Black Friday, we're like, come over to our house. Yeah, that's the You best. had family in town. Otherwise, I would have invited you. Thanks, but buddy. I knew you weren't going to break away from the fam. And you had a bunch I of shit I might have, on. personally. I might have I fired up the old M. Fizzle. And put it in sport mode and just juice it over here. Never leave me out of a party. You might be surprised. I just show up. That makes me feel like a dick friend I just for not show showing you an invite. You know? I was trying to get you to come record. You're like, dude, I can't break away. I got this going on and this That's going true. on. I so, might I might I might have not been I, able to. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you were. That's yeah. why you weren't invited. But nonetheless, it turns out like throughout the day, like everyone released their the neighbors' kids. And they all just came over to my house. Right. And so we had kids here literally all day. And then the parents followed in the evening for Friendsgiving. You came over, I believe, on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I asked you to help me move because I started a project yeah. moving these giant. Well, I have to clear the stuff Sound that were boards. on the shelves. Yeah. But I have these like four foot deep by eight foot wide shelving system. It is an in, it's like something you would see at Home Depot. It yeah. is an industrial, it's industrial shelving system. Right. And my it's on the back wall of my garage. And I decided I am going to move that to the basement to create room to hopefully park my new car eventually. Yes. So moving most of the stuff that was on those shelves. You would I, like to park your car in the garage. Which I haven't done since I've lived here of like six years. Because the garage is just. Well, it's just filled with it's stuff. It's just full I got, of stuff. I got three kids. I mean, there's a lot of shit. I got a tuk-tuk. What about the go-kart? What are you doing with that? Um, I'm, I got to get a, um, a steering column bolt. I'm probably going to sell it and get rid of it. How much you want for it? Uh, I was thinking. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not looking to make a ton of money. Probably six or seven hundred bucks. Which is. I, mean, I might be interested. I've got to fix the steering column because it, yeah, Is it I just, awesome? oh yeah, it's fun as fuck. I mean, it goes like 45 no way. miles. Oh, it's fast. It's fast as shit. Wow. And, and it's perfect for our size. I mean, so what happened was the last time I, when my brother was here, it's been a year actually, and I crank it from time to time just to keep the motor running. But when I was sitting still, I went to like turn the tires and the steering just went just and broke. started spinning. Yeah. So it's got this like lug nut, this like um, cog inside the steering column that has like a pin. Right. That sets it. Yeah. The pin popped out and I can't find it. So I just need to go to like tractor supply actually yeah. sells like parts for these things. Yeah. And I just need a new nut. I'm going to get that out of my garage. My wife's like, we don't need it. We need room. I'm like, fine. So the day of Friendsgiving, yeah. I was, my whole mission from the time I got up mm -hmm. was taking shit off those shelves. Right. Taking the shelves apart, yeah. moving shit to the basement that when the shelves were then reinstalled, mm -hmm. I could start stacking shit on it and organizing right. it. So literally, while my wife is in there preparing for Friendsgiving, I am dirty, gross, because I am taking, like, I've got dusty, spider webby shit I'm dusting off. And literally, I did not stop moving. It was back and forth, back and forth. I get a call from... Uh, a buddy, you remember um, the the teacher that um, came on and did rapping the Hamilton? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I get a call from her husband. You know, they just had like a two week trip in Germany. Cruise? No, they went to Oktoberfest. Ah, so they were there for the tail end of Oktoberfest. Yeah, and they were doing sightseeing. I think they even have a family member that lives out there. Oh, nice. So they spent two weeks. I hadn't seen him since they got back in town. I'm going back and forth, back and forth. Wife's in there doing friends, Friendsgiving. He's like, I get a call. No one has started arriving yet. And he's like, hey, buddy, I'm around your hood. I got a gift for you. Can I come by? I'm like, sure, dude. I love gifts. Yeah. Anytime you want to bring me a gift, come on right, by. Right. So he comes by and I'm like, I'm not trying to be rude. You got to walk with me because right. I can't really stop what I'm doing, but yeah. I want to hear about your trip. Yeah. So he's following me back and forth, back and forth. And he's like, here, I brought you a present. He hands me this jar. What the fuck is that? This is Schneeberg. Schneeberg. And I go, what is, is it this? blow? 
I go, what the hell is this? He goes, take a bump. And I go, what do you mean take a bump? He's like, yeah, no, that this is actually very popular in Germany. I'm like, so I Google it because I'm like, what the fuck are you giving me? And it's alias and it's very popular around Oktoberfest. Mm. It's called Bavarian cocaine is what is the, but it's not cocaine. Okay. It's, it's glucose and um, menthol. And he's like, take a bump. It is actually refreshing oh, as God. fuck. Clears your sinuses. It's not illegal. It's like, it's like sugar and menthol, but it doesn't burn. And so, the top oh no, yeah. So, 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 what I did was, is I what oh, was that? God, oh, was that a like rock. a rock? No, that's a rock, dude. <laughs> Here, let's, let's chop it up. Oh my god! You don't need to do a, a bunch. Here, I got a knife. Here, let's do this real quick. <laughs> this shit's funny as fuck. All right, all right. Oh my god! That's, that's like a, a big, huge one. rock, dude. Ben just tapped out a giant. A, a giant bump. Chunk. It would be in the this is a chunk of in the Schneeberg. world of cocaine. This would be a giant. This would be a. a but this is not cocaine. This is Schneeberg. No, it's not cocaine. Right. Uh, it, no, not at all. No. Well, and so it's uh, menthol. Here, well, actually, let me see this right here, real quick, because I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I, I, I go okay. So I look it up because I'm like, dude, you're not giving me anything crazy. And so I um, took out a, a butter knife, just and I take. Bump. Wow, you're so good at that. And um, <laughs> I hadn't done that in a while. It's been a long time, Ben. I was like, whoo, it's like I'm breathing mountain air. So at first it's a little bit of a huh, but then it's like, man, my nostrils, my sinuses are, uh, there you go. I was like, my sinuses are feeling great. I was like, wow, thank you. I was like, I've never seen that before. Oh my God. <laughs> so if you're, you don't have a visual on it, Ben just. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. <laughs> He's all gacked up. I named Schneeberg. <laughs> Schneeberg. And I'm like. Oh my gosh, dude, I got water running down my eyes. But how is your sinuses breathing? I mean, honestly, it's very nice. There's like I don't know what I just did, but I like it. I feel like I'm breathing the Swiss Alp there. I can see how if you were hammered, doing one of those things would wake you right up. But it's not like you get like jacked from. No, it. it's a menthol thing. It's right. like a. There's you know. an article, like in Oktoberfest, like you'll see people drinking the beer, the steins of beer, but there's like people doing lines of Schneeberg on the table. Like I'm not even <laughs> lying. It's hilarious. And I get it. I really like it. No big deal. I'm like, dude. I'm pulling it up on Amazon. I'm right like, now. they sell it on Amazon. Oh, yeah. I'm getting I'm some. like, do you order a case of Schneeberg? Yeah, I'm Schneeberg. Woo! Oh, yeah, right? So Ben <laughs> is breathing freely. His sinuses I'm are clean. Breathing clear. air from the Swiss Alps. It's like your nose just smoked a Newport. And this is 10 grams. This is 90 M7. This is, uh, yeah, 10 grams of Schneeberg. Schneeberg. It's funny because they call it the Bavarian cocaine. <laughs> like, I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. Look at this girl in Germany. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm in the garage with my buddy oh. who just gave me this vial of Schneeberg. I take two giant bumps. So yeah. I, I thank him. I'm breathing good. He leaves and I go back to going back and forth. Now, I'm dirty as fuck. My wife comes out and she's like, you need to get in here. Guests are about to start arriving. Right. And I go, cool. Now, I knew this other couple was coming and... The, the husband was who I wanted to try to pitch yeah. some podcast. I like I knew what he did for a living. Right. Little did I know that when I started greeting people at the door, that I had Schneeberg <laughs> all <laughs> around my nose. Just so, nailing it. And I'm dirty. I'm gross. I've been going back and forth like, a, like I was jacked on yeah. something. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, welcome in. Oh, and, my God. It's like Christmas. <laughs> And and they weren't the first people I greeted. So it was like the neighbors. They started coming in. I'm like, hey, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, your kids are already here. Yeah, come on in. And I'm like, my wife's like, will you do this? Then the doorbell rings, and there's the couple who I've never met before. Answer the door. They're one of their, their kid that they brought with them, little girl. Come on in. Welcome to my home. And, and, and my wife. And you look like Scarface. And my wife comes to the door to greet them as well. And they, well, go into the kitchen. Yeah, that's where other people are hanging out. My wife looks at me and goes, What the fuck is wrong with you? And I go, What are you talking about? She goes, You have white shit all over <laughs> your nose. <laughs> it looks just like cocaine, too, dude. 
I mean, it looks identical. I mean, you wouldn't be able to, like... You wouldn't know. If a cop found this, they'd be like, it's just Schneeberg. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's that's a good try. No, but... Ugh. So I'm like, okay, well, fuck. So, like, my wife didn't even know I was given that bottle. So I'm like, babe, it's not cocaine. Right. <laughs> now I'm trying to convince my wife I'm not doing blow. And I'm like, it's Schneeberg. Yeah, Schneeberg mit Traubenzucker. So I take out the bottle and I'm like, look, it's Schneeberg from Germany. And she goes, you got to be fucking kidding me. And I go, well, what do I do? Do I address the fact that there's Schneeberg on my nose you or do to. I play it off like maybe they didn't no, see you it? just go in the kitchen and break out a line. Anybody want to bump a <laughs> Schneeberg? I've been tearing this shit up all day. If You, you got to try it. Listen. I don't wanna like, like, Honey, get over here and do one off my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Reliving the old days yeah. with Schneeber. <laughs> Show him how you used to take bumps out of my pee hole. <laughs> Remember- Honey, get over here. I'm about to do one off your tits. <laughs> Remember in the club that All one All of a sudden, time? everything comes back, <laughs> but it's Schneeberg and not blow. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, start my- going out to the club again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Start partying. Yeah. You know? Schneeberg. <laughs> Hitting the- <laughs> Start hitting the strippy bars. Oh my bumping god! Schneeberg. Well, dude, I'm like Aaron. What do I do? Do do I hope that? Do you think they saw it? She goes, "How the fuck could they not see it?" And then I go look in the mirror, and dude, the shit's all over my face. Do I address it? Because now they think I'm a fucking cokehead. Oh, uh, mine's in mine's in the uh, mine's in the hopper. What do you mean? I got some. It'll oh. be there Saturday. Oh, you yeah. ordered some? <laughs> Two day delivery. Well, like, is it just one bottle? Yeah. How much? Uh, fifteen dollars. Oh, okay. For I'm, a bottle of Schneeberg. For a bottle of Schneeberg. Well, of course, that's here. I, it might be. Well, know. it's not coming from Germany, is it? I'm sure there's some in the states. I'm sure Amazon has a supply. I'm uh, sure they do too, and that's what I mean. I'm sure there's. It's probably cheaper over there. Trabenzuka. Trabenzuka is grape sugar. I've never. Is it? Yeah. Uh, okay. But tra- it doesn't burn. Zucca. It's not like snorting a pixie I think. stick. I thought it was glucose. It's not like a like a pixie stick. If anyone's ever snorted a pixie stick before, I have, and it hurts, and I would never do it again, nor recommend that type of use. But Schneeberg. Oh, but look, Traubin means grapes. Oh, okay. okay. Well, Ben has found the root to Traubenzuka. And what does Zucker mean? Sugar. Oh. Okay. So well, it does mean grape sugar. Ben has broken down the German word Traubenzucker. Traubenzucker. Which means grape sugar. That's right. Which is German a- is actually very similar to English. It's it's in like having lived there for three years. Right. As I lived there That's and what- studied the language mm-hmm. and heard it a lot. You can break it down. All of a sudden, I was like, oh, we're just saying grape sugar. Zucker. I can believe that sugar. Right. So it even sounds like it. Sugar. Traubin doesn't sound like grape though. No, but then you you know you see it on wine bottles. Right. Right. You know. Right. Right. And you see you see Traubin, 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 and all of a sudden you just learn that's a grape. See when you know what I mean? in my mind when I was going to tell this you this story like an apple's an apple. In my mind when I, when I was breaking down the story and you had no idea where it was going and I pulled out yeah. Schneeberg, yeah. I expected you to go. Schneeberg, my old friend, <laughs> my old friend. Where, <laughs> where hast thou been, Schneeberg? Three years I spent with you, Schneeberg. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence! You show up on the holidays. Uh, but I guess they weren't uh, hanging with Schneeberg when you were in Germany because you had no idea about. Maybe it. they were, but I certainly wasn't. I it wasn't in your it. crowd. It wasn't in my deal. That wasn't circulating. No. Nope. Well, you know and what? I'm sure that if it would have been there, it would have been circulating. And you guys would have been snorting. I it. promise you, it would have been downrange with us. I'm, I'm like, hey, can I get a bump of that? I'm telling you right now, if you hadn't slept for two days and you hit a bump of this, you'd be up for a little bit. Do you think? You could use this like as a soldier, bro. You could use some shit like this in the field. Do you think you would get like you'd feel that? Absolutely. I tell you what, here's here's going to be the test. See, I'm, I'm like. Are you waking of... up at 3 a.m. tomorrow like you normally do? Yes, I do. All right. After you brush your teeth, before you drink some coffee, you don't even drink coffee, no. but before you do whatever. I you... do go get an energy drink at QT, typically. Okay. Before that, hit a bump of Traubenzuka or Schneeberg. <laughs> hit a bump of Schneeberg and tell us what happens. 
I'm so good at, I mean, I'm almost on autopilot these days. Like when I typically get up, I, some days I'm like, ugh. but once I get up and I brush my teeth, by the time I'm done brushing my teeth, I'm normally awake. Well, then do it before you brush your teeth. Like as soon as I keep get it next bed. to your bed and see what <laughs> happens. As soon as you roll out of bed, yeah. you can rip a, rip a gator tail <laughs> right off my, right off the back of my hand. No, do it off your wife's ass <laughs> while she's sleeping. <laughs> Smack it. <laughs> Sprinkling Schneeberg on her. What are you doing? I'm making a trail. I'm trying ready to, to go to work. Shut I'm up. trying to spice things up. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to wake up. Um, I'm just trying to wake up. <laughs> Join the show. Hit us up at manfuse.com, 770-744-5227. Subscribe for free on all major podcast platforms. And do us a favor. Leave us a review. Share the show. Thanks again. Foo Media. If you are a business owner, you understand the headache marketing can be, right? Our team at Pioneer Podcasting makes it so easy. Podcasts increase visibility in a way that won't hurt your bottom line. Drive results for your business. Visit advertiseonpodcast.com and fill out the contact form to get started advertising on shows like Manfused. Let us help you get rid of that irritating marketing headache. Find out more at advertiseonpodcast.com.